Look over here. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Look Over Here, the <laughs> companion piece for our recap of UK. And uh, yeah, I I forgot to I, I, I called myself pushing the button again, but it didn't. So this is Look Over Here. And we are here to talk all the looks of UK. Uh, episode one the premiere episode so entrance looks and runway looks i and welcome to the cup the currently on the podcast where we put the real entity in reality where you can always come to us first to quench your thirst i am your girl lana your resident evil diva and i'm here to give the tea spill the tea and drink the tea because you know i love me some tea Her. and you know i'm just drinking on some water I got a little bit left here, half fellow, half bottle left. But just in case I run out, I have another because I'm always prepared. And apparently I'm always thirsty. Um, and to quench my thirst, I keep a cup nearby too. And not just any cup, but the cup mug. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Panel full of cup mm-hmm. mugs. You can barely see it, but it's there. Yeah. Panel full of cup mugs. And you can get your cup mug or any of our cup merch at lonergiescreations.etsy.com. That link will be in the description below. And we do ship domestically here in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. And we do ship internationally. So there are no excuses. I mean, unless you're in a fire, fire-torn fire country or war-torn country. You know, if fire is burning your country right now or people are being idiots and trying to take over your country, then there are some excuses. And a hurricane, too, I guess. I'll throw that in there. So there's some excuses, but once all of that clears up and everything is back to normal and you're really ready to celebrate, celebrate with a cup mug or any of our cup merch, period. That link will be in the description below. Well, I'm David Healy, and I still don't have a cute intro, but I still have a cute shirt. I'm still wearing my taste shirt. Yay. My lips and cassassin shirt. I really like it. Kind of bothers. Like I love taste. I love this shirt, but I hate that from the front you cannot tell who, who it is. is. <laughs> yeah, on the back there's a big picture of taste. Go ahead, turn around, around, David. Give okay. us a turn. Let us see. Let us see. Period. There she is. There she is. See. Mm-hmm. And That's you know what? You, I think you would like taste. You think so? I do. I will check her out. Yeah. Maybe I like her. I don't know why you would think that though, but who knows? She might. She yeah. must be a great lip sync assassin. I think she sure is. She is. Period. Up, Memory from Cats. You know that song? Uh huh. Look up a lip sync of her doing that. It's really good. Really good. Okay. Word. Well then, that was what I'll do before we jump into all of the looks of the premiere of UK uh, season six, which was quite amazing actually we'll say we had a good time talking mm-hmm. about that in the recap so you should go check out the recap where we talked about the whole show the premiere of itself and all of it but then you can come back and check us out when we talk about the uh looks but uh before we do any of that subscribe to this channel and all of our other channels, we are a part of the Cup Network. We have three other channels you can subscribe to other than this one. And we would love for you to just go into our uh, link tree, click those YouTube links, subscribe to all four of our channels. We would love, love, love. This channel, we're very close to getting 2K followers. We would love, love, love to have hit 2K. So subscribe to this channel for sure. And then go subscribe to our other channels. Thanks. As well in our description below is our audio podcast link so you can check us out on the go we see y'all over there listening on all our our our, our podcast channels on on in the audio because i see the numbers we see the numbers and i see you i love y'all for listening we appreciate you so much for listening and also our patreon link is down there as well and you can get some exclusive content if we hit 2k we go drop some new content so i mean i have 
some recording time available this week for me that I could record some things that I've been promising to record. Some I've already done. Some I need to finish. And so if you want us to drop those, you know what to do. Hit that 2K and this dropping is coming. But it's coming either way because I'm going to do that this week because <laughs> I've been promising, so I'm going to do it anyway. But it's coming. Um, so do that in our Patreon. Join our Patreon so you can get those exclusive content and early access to all of our look over here, including this one. And it'll be maybe not this one because it, it should be out early enough. I'm sure we'll see. Who knows? I don't know how that scheduling stuff goes. We leave that to Logan because you know me. I just sit here and look pretty and talk about looks. So that's what we're going to do. But it'll come out on uh, all of our look over here. Our early access to look over here will come out. So there we have it. David, are we ready to talk about some premiere looks? Yes, let's do it. Let's <laughs> do it. Here we go. Premier looks. <sighs> I'm nice start. background, Logan. Lovely background, Logan. Entrance looks. It looks like very Glinda from the Wizard of Oz coming in her bubble. Mm-hmm. But and she's entering, and we're gonna talk about entrance looks. We're gonna give scores and everything. But hopefully, we won't be here forever, David, because it's a lot of looks, but we got this. Only two of us. You got us. It just the two of us. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you can up first miss release of slaves i'll let you go david yes i really like this i i feel like i'm really starting to get a better picture of her style than we did from her entrance or from her promo look and this is so cool and fresh and sexy like she leans into the sexiness i like the idea of doing the kind of leopard print with more of a green fabric i think that's really cool this wig is everything. Look, no notes. She, she did what needed to be done here. Period. I agree with you. I like this look. I think she's she's giving us very sexy, very she look, she's thick, she's sexy, she know it, and she leans into it. I like the different the color variation of the leopard print is not the simple leopard like we've known and it's brown and everything, but she's I like this. Mm-hmm. I just noticed the necklace says Rue Fossa. <laughs> Oh, is that not what it says? I thought it said Relisa. Oh, but then yeah, it says Relisa. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> the that drag makes way more sense up. than Rufasa. I was like, what? No, it's Relisa. Relisa. <laughs> but yeah, she she knows her, her brand. She knows she's a, she's like I'm sexy. I'm Caribbean. I'm you know I'm proud of my my culture, and I love that she's she's a fly girl. Period. What are we scoring this, David? I gave her an 81. I gave her an 85. I like it. I like it. Up next is Miss Charity. What do you think, Lana? I think Charity is a bowl of fun. I think Charity is... She gave what I thought she was going to give. She's colorful. She's, But even in this color, it's like a, a pale pink. But with all the different color splotches all over the, like, I don't know. I kind of like it. She's fun. It's a cute entrance look. It's a cute entrance look. Yeah, I agree with you. I think it's very fitting for her and what we know about her style. Like, and, and that's what I asked for. Like, give me an idea of what you are like as a queen. Uh, it's simple, but still cute. Um, my biggest issue, though, that I had with this was um, I'm not sure why she needed the nude full bodysuit mm. underneath. Like, mm-hmm. I don't, maybe she has tattoos she's hiding. I'm not sure. But that kind of took me out of it a little bit because I wasn't really buying into the illusion. Like, it matches color-wise fine, mm-hmm. but it's a little loose in areas. Mm-hmm. And I do want to see how she how she would do with a more soft makeup. Cause I felt like this was a bit harsh in areas. Uh, but overall I still thought it was cute and it works for an entrance look. Mm-hmm. So. Scores. I gave her 70. You gave her 73. At that. Yeah. Yeah. We move to Zahira. Mm-hmm. I said it right. 
<laughs> yes, you did. I, I yes, and uh, this will be a fun one because we might have some disagreements here. Um, what do you? Th I'll let you go first, though. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, when she came out, I was just unsure of everything. Mm. Like it took me a little bit to soak it in. I think there's some good things to it. Like I, I uh, like the shape of everything on her. I don't know that I like this dark brown on her. Like I, when you come out for your entrance looks, I, I think color definitely helps. So I, I wish there were more pops of color to really emphasize the look. Um, and I do agree with you. I like the wig. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about these color streaks in there. I think that kind of took me out of it. I think if it was just a normal brown wig, I would have liked it more. Or if it was fully that yellow green color but having mostly brown with the the streaks i just it wasn't fully working for me she still looks good there's just issues about it that like mm -hmm. i would have liked it better if it was slightly different <laughs> see we don't have i thought we were going to have the same gripes that we have with this look but we don't mm -hmm. i like the coat i like the coat that she came out in i thought that was like i was like okay yes what I didn't like when she took off the coat, I didn't like the nude the the panty, oh, yeah. and it, the, having that small, you know, uh, line up the crotch area. I'm like, if you're going to do that, just go full, like, cover it all up. Like, I didn't like that we had to we saw the panty of it all. Um, that was my, and then I didn't like the thing hanging in between the leg like that because I was like. Why is that there? Like, it doesn't go with anything. It didn't make sense. I do like the wig. I don't mind the streaks of, of the color in the hair because I think she's just going to do. It's just one of those things where I guess for me, if sometimes you just like to have a pop of color, you know, you, you know me, I'm purple, I'm blue, I'm red. Sometimes it doesn't matter. I, I just like, yeah. You just said what I always want. I want it to be a drag king name so badly. I've thought this for years. We need a pop of color. Pop of color. A pop of pop color. Of <laughs> I like that. I like that for a drag neck. Oh, he always has a pop of color somewhere. Mm -hmm. oh, love that. <laughs> work on that. I'm going to send somebody another to work on that. Put Look, that in the atmosphere. You can do it. Be the change you want to see. <laughs> I don't want to be a drag king. I want to be a drag queen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, I didn't mind the wig. And I think the wig looks good on her. Like, I think she's gonna give us some good wigs this season. I just just think so because she does wigs, and I think she's gonna give us some good ones. But that was my only problem. But mm -hmm. scores, I gave her a seventy three. I gave her seventy. Ooh, we're good. Yeah. Miss Chanel, what you? Think? I thought this was a solid entrance look. Nothing special. Nothing, you know, it, but it's Chanel. She's rich. She's, you know, she, she, she's, she's above all that. You know, she, she just wants to look put together. And that's what she does. She looks put together. And I love a put together queen. I love someone who's just like, I'm not going to come with the flash and the glitz and the glamour all the time. But when I am not doing that, just know I'll be put together. That's my word for her. She was very put together. Mm -hmm. and I like it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Um, it definitely is on the more simple end, mm -hmm. uh, but it's very polished, clean. It fits her well. Uh, the one thing that I I was thinking about is we we hear her voiceover and she's talking about how rich she is, which mm -hmm. I love that. I love that characterization. When I look at this immediately, I don't think of rich. Mm. But I, but then I had to think about it more, and I'm like, a rich person, they're probably not just going to come wearing diamonds all the time. Yep. They're just going to wear something classy and polished and maybe not flaunt their wealth. Mm -hmm. So I think it does it does kind of work with that, but they're still just, maybe it's just a too, little too simple for me. It's missing um, a necklace. Yeah, a necklace. It's missing a necklace. For sure. So I do... I do think overall this probably had the smallest impression mm -hmm. on me of any mm -hmm. of the looks. Agreed. Um, so 
of the entrance looks just be more specific. So mm-hmm. mm. I I think I agree with you. I think if you if you're gonna your tagline and your thing is I'm rich or whatever, you don't have to flaunt it, but you have to show mm-hmm. a little bit like yeah, but I'm still rich. And I think this dress and every this outfit is cute, but like a little pendant necklace would have been like, don't forget. I'm I'm still mm-hmm. I'm I'm yeah, a necklace would have I think ate it up. Scores, David. Gave her a 69. Nice. Um, honestly, I probably will match her 69. Because, yeah, I think. Yeah. Double 69. Double. Oop. Nice. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's keep it moving to Octavia. Is this my, yeah, this is my turn. Um, I really like this. I think you can't go wrong with black, white, and red. Like mm-hmm. those work. Uh, that is my roommate. That's his aesthetic. Like he decorates everything black, white, and red. And he gets mad if anything doesn't match that. Uh, mm-hmm. So I thought this was really cute. It feels edgy. It has a point of view. I like that it almost has like a skin texture on the top here. Like, not like normal, like skin, but more of like a flesh, like a Mm -hmm. body, like a dead body's flesh, you know? Mm -hmm. So I thought it was really cool. Like, this is how you make a good, strong statement with Mm -hmm. your entrance look. Is it my favorite of any, anybody? No, but I, I think it, it fit the, the criteria. So. Right. I like it too. Uh, She says she's going on drag race and she's going to be the checker flag that Rue always hears in the drag race things. And I like it. And she edged it out, punked it out with the hair and the makeup. And yeah, you can't go wrong with black, red, and white. You just can't. Like that's a very classic combination of colors that just goes together well. And she looks good. I like it a lot. She looks fierce. Like that top picture it looks good. But yeah, mm-hmm. I like it a lot. Of course. I gave her an 80. 85. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Miss Lavoie. I like Lavoie. <laughs> I like this entrance look. When she came in with that pink covered up, I was like, ooh, okay. Well, we got underneath it. And then she opened it up and gave us this orange and pink number. I said, yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. She made you go, okay, ma'am, I see you. I see you. And she knew it. I like this look a lot. I thought this is one of a really great entrance look. It was very drag. It was very big. It was very full. It was sparkly. And it just gave me everything I would want in a drag look. And she brought it for the entrance because she was like, this ain't the best I got. This is this is just the tip of the iceberg for me. And I love it. I love mm-hmm. it. Yeah, I see what you're saying. For me, it comes down to a little bit of personal preference because I do really like the shape of everything. For me, RuPaul loves orange and pink together. Oh, I do not. I do not. I this is that. very this is very RuPaul color scheme. It's very not David color scheme. <laughs> so it comes down to personal preference. I don't like those colors together. I think they clash in a way that doesn't really work for me. And the other thing that really bothered me was this nude illusion on the top. Mm-hmm. I did not like it at mm-hmm. all, at all. And you mm-hmm. know, you know, mm-hmm. I'm gonna call out a nude illusion if it if it bothers me. And this absolutely, one this one did. But I get it. Overall, I think this fits her aesthetic well. I just uh, different colors, better nude illusion. It would have been great for me. But come to think of it, I think overall, this was probably my least favorite. Ooh, yeah. So I we might it. be we might be pretty uh off on this one. Oh, uh, we might be scores. I gave her a sixty five. Mm, I gave her an eighty. Okay. It wasn't like I said. I like it. I like it. I don't mm-hmm. know if a lot of people go get much higher. Right. Ah, mm, uh, marmalade. <laughs> well, so far. Of the seven people we've talked about, this was my favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I think that there is a simplicity to this, mm -hmm. but this still feels rich to me, even with it being very simple. Like I could see this walking down a red carpet. Um, I, I think these colors specifically, like we've seen a lot of variations of red and blue or pink and blue together, mm -hmm. especially this year. But I think that these are, these colors are just like delicious together. Like there's something about it that really pops and she's got hints of that same pink in her face. So it just balances so well. I think this is a very classy, very pretty, but simple look like it works for me fully. Yeah, I like the look. I think the look is good. I might be a little lower on it than you. Maybe not as high, but I like it. I think it's simple. It's pretty. It's effective. It's beautiful. It's just, it's it's good for a entrance look. I will give her that. But this face is beat to the gods. And this face is giving me everything I need. But she looks great. I think this is a good good look for an entrance look. Not mad at it. So, of course. I'll give her an 83. I gave her a 75. <laughs> this trash bag here. <laughs> I love her so much. <laughs> Karen. Oh. This is my favorite look. This is my favorite look of the night my favorite entrance look of the night and I loved her whole personality behind it I loved it I love her oh, I loved it it gave me trash fashion like it's it's a trash Trashing. bag trashing if you will <laughs> yes. It's giving all of that, but in the best way possible. And the way she came in that workroom with Ben Juice, and I just liked everything about this. This was my, oh, I love her. Love her. Yeah, I really like this too. We've seen uh, over the years, we've seen a lot of trash bag looks. Um, I think this is one of the most dragged up ones. It has an intensity to it, it has a severeness. Uh, it really works. Um, I, I just love her. I love her so much. The only thing I will say is there are like in the middle, I felt like she lost her shape a little bit. Um, and that was the only thing that kind of detracted for me, but overall I thought this was very strong. I do want to challenge you though, Lana, you're saying this is your favorite look. I want to, I want to see if you might change your mind, uh, later on when we talk about somebody else. Uh, but this was probably my, probably tied for my second favorite. Okay. All right. Scores. I gave her an 83 as well. I gave her a 90. Miss, look, I'm not going to call her Suki because I know it's not Suki. It's Saki. Saki. Like the drink. Like the drink, Saki. Saki, you. And David, what did you think? Yeah, there are things I like about this for sure. I really, I think the color of this pink fabric is so pretty, so pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, the texture on it is also stunning. I love the shape of it. Um, I do think it's a little wrinkly in places, or maybe mm -hmm. it's maybe it's just not laying on her the best way. Uh, but overall, I really like the pink part. I don't understand why we have the the black full bodysuit underneath. Mm. That really detracted uh, from the look for me. Um, so I don't know. I I wish she didn't have that on at all. Or even like this might be a better time to go with like a nude type there, which yeah. I wouldn't suggest that is either. But it would be better than this black. Um, but uh, I still think it's cute. I think that the the good outweighs the bad. So I'm not mad. <laughs> yeah, I would have rather it not been a black bodysuit and just black tights because I understand why she didn't want the bottom half to have nothing there because that's um, a very short, short skirt dress. And so it would have been showing all the, 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 the everything. Um, so I think a black legging 
would have been better with this. You know what I mean? Just a black bottom mm -hmm. or, you know, like sometimes we do paint, uh, paint leggings with dresses for those very reasons. Like the dress is very short and you don't want your, your okay. ball, your butt out, hanging out the back. So I get it, but I don't know why we had to have the full body suit. It, I don't like that, but I do like the pink. I like everything yeah. about the pink. I like the pink. Maybe even so, like a pale pink would have worked better for the bodysuit. Like a really pale pink. Maybe. Maybe. Well, maybe. I think that a good contrast. Mm -hmm. But I like everything in the pink, though. I like the shoulders. I like the dress. I like the train. Yep. I love her hair. I like how, you know, how her makeup is done. I like everything else except the bodysuit. Yep. But, yeah. Scores. I'm going to give her a 71. And I will give her a 72. Just to one up you. <laughs> <sighs> Lil. Lil is here. Lil is here. And Lil got a baby doll dressed just like her. <laughs> okay. I'm going to talk about what I like first. I like this dress. I like the bonnet part. I like that she was like, I'm going to be a baby. I'm a doll. I like the blue. The blue is such a good blue. And then that blue with the black is so good co color combination together like that. Not a fan of the face and the makeup. Not a fan of the makeup. But I get the makeup. I understand the makeup. And I know why she did that. But I don't particularly care for it. But I like everything else. I like it. I do. I like Lil. I, I just like her. Too, mm -hmm. so. A little bias might come in because I just really like her. Okay. Well, I really like this. This for me was my favorite. Okay. Um, so I was, I was hoping maybe you'd be like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot about this one. No. But that's fine. That's fine. Because mm -hmm. um, I think it looks really good. I... I think that there's like almost like this gothic baby doll aesthetic to it mm -hmm. in this blue was so stunning, especially so against the black that really made yep. it pop. It gave it a strong pop of color there, right? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> um, very good pop of color. So I thought this was a strong, strong way to start this and just show us like who you are. You're a bit edgy. You're a bit dark, but you're still like campy. And and silly with your aesthetic, so I I was really digging this. This was definitely my favorite entrance look. Okay, scores then. I gave her an eighty-seven. I gave her an eighty-nine. Miss Kiki Snatch. Yeah, I like this. They, uh, I think it's a really good bodysuit. If you're going to do a bodysuit, go all out like this. And That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think there's some cool things about this. Like it almost, you know, those like uh, models of human body, like just the muscles. Mm -hmm. like it, it almost gives that illusion, especially in the crotch and the legs, mm -hmm. like of like the muscle. But um, there's nice, uh, I, like, I like that it's nice and colorful and shiny in the right areas. Um, I do think though she just relied on her natural body shape here. So I think there's ways she could have really emphasized curves here. And I don't know that she's ever going to be like a padding body type of girl. I just kind of want to see it anyways. Just like, <laughs> just sprinkle it out there for me. Like give me it once or twice. Mm -hmm. um, the wig I'm not crazy about. Uh, but overall, I think it's a good look, a good look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I agree. I think if you go wear a bodysuit and just a bodysuit, you got to make sure it's a bodysuit mm -hmm. that's good. And this one is good. And I do think it just, with the, it just, she just relied strictly on her type, her body type, and gave the, the little curve that she has in, in, in her natural body, which is not bad. But yeah, I, I think a little bit more, cur you know. For different different occasions would be great. Maybe not this bodysuit because it's so skin tight and mm -hmm. you don't want the padding to look weird and disproportion. But I do think with uh in the future, maybe. Maybe we can see it. I don't know what kind of queen. We'll see what kind of queen if she's a padding queen or not. I 
don't mind the wig. I think this wig fits the aesthetic that she was going for with this, with the look. It's not a bad wig. It's just not a. It's just flat. It's but if, flat. but in 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 the culture that she's going for, we love a a, a forty four inch bust down in the middle mm-hmm. period, and we know, well, love a good bust down in the middle part, like. And so that's what she was going. She was giving that. Eh. So I ain't mad at it. it. It works for the aesthetic that she was going to. So not minded. Scores. Gave her a 75. Gave her an 82. <sighs> Garba. <laughs> Still in my head, Dita. Period. You do your job. You know what you were doing. Uh, <laughs> I like this. I I like this. I think I think I kind of I'm a, I'm gonna steal something from Logan. I wish she would have get just a little like cutlets or something for the to give the the breasticles a little shape. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. It don't have to be huge. I don't need big boobs. Just a little for this type of jacket and the way it's fitting across the chest area. A little oof, oof, would have gave it just enough to go, okay. But I love this color on her, and I like the jacket and the skirt. I think she looks put together, and she gave me the necklace that I want, (laughs) and I think it looks good. I love this wig. I'm a fan of this wig, and I like the way she presented herself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she presented herself with so much confidence, and I, I was living for that. Um, I do think this is simple, but very effective. And the wig is one of my favorite parts as well. But I do love the color of the actual garment. Um, I think it's shaped well. I like that it has her name on it. Uh, you're, you're definitely going to know who she is. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, I, I thought this this was a strong uh, first impression for sure. Absolutely. Scores. 78. 78. Okay. All right. Quick look at the judges. Sure. Mm -hmm. I will say, I couldn't keep my eyes off of Michelle. Every time they showed her, I was just so into, like, what I was seeing. And it was mostly the top half because she Mm -hmm. was at the desk. But I was like, that looks so cool. That looks really cool. So It is definitely cool. She looked good in this. I think I would want to wear, like, those thigh highs. I wish I could Mm -hmm. get thigh highs to go all the way up the thighs like that for sure and I would wear that dress like that's a cool look it's a very cool look Mm -hmm. she kind of look good let's get past all of this right to the category of your queen of your hometown apparently this was backed by popular demand so let's see how popular it is David Mm -hmm. let's start off here Okay, so first we have Chanel. Mm-hmm. Um, so she's from Scotland. This definitely reads very Scottish. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the material of the dress. Um, I think it's a good shape on her. Um, it's all a bit simple. Um, I wish she had found a way to drag it up a bit more mm. because this does look like pretty girl out showing showing off a, an, a cute look. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I don't know. I just I just want a little bit more of a stronger drag aesthetic from her. What I do really like though is this wig. I think mm. it's cut and shaped perfectly. Um yeah, I thought the wig was the highlight. But overall, I thought it was good. Mhm. I do too. I thought it was a really good look. I thought she did really well with how she presented it. It looked good. Um her grandmother made the sweater. Her dad's not clothes. her, not her. So I'm like, did you make everything, <laughs> Chanel? Uh, but no, <laughs> just the petty coming out. Um, I, I love the, I do love the wig. I do love the wig. I love that she put the feather in the wig in the hair, and I think it's very Scottish, very cute, very cutesy, very demure, very mindful. I'm here for it. Scores. I gave her a 73. 70. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was going to be the lower one. <laughs> no, it's going to be me. I'm going to take that one. I'm going to take that one. 
Up next is Miss Kiki Snatch. And she gave us St. Lucia in a in, in a nutshell. I love this wig. I'm a fan of the wig. I think I love a good braided wig when it's done right. And this one is done right. I think the uh, outfit itself is very pretty and colorful, but simple and effective. That's my much to say. Mm -hmm. I agree. This is uh, the second queen in a row where I'm going to say the wig is the best part because I mm -hmm. really like this wig. I think it's cute. It has a lot of personality behind it, too. And it it really goes well with the actual garment itself. Like, it, it really makes the colors pop um on that look i think the fabric is very strong once again i'm gonna say i i want it to be a bit more dragged up i want to see more more shape with her but that's not her thing probably <laughs> so i might be asking for that a lot mm -hmm. that's okay i still think this is a very cute look mm -hmm. of course uh i will give her a 79 78 Up next, we have, uh-oh, I'm blinking on the name. This is Sorry. Lil. Lil, yes. why yeah. did I blink on the name? I know sure. that face. Oh, and I feel bad because we got so much uh, context for this look yes. from Eris, and yes. we we lost that text. <laughs> so uh, I, I did read it. I don't remember it all, mm -hmm. but I will say, Lana. Mm. Please tell me you got the same kind of reference I did when uh, you saw this. So I thought of a different queen. Like, this feels so it's coded. No, I will give uh -huh. you a hint. Oh, yes! Yes! Alexis Mugler. Alexis Mugler. <laughs> From yes. Lamont's Target. This feels so much like her color scheme, her aesthetic, oh, I everything. Oh, she would block this look. <laughs> she would. She would be holding up a sign, protesting something, <laughs> and making these faces. Making the face? Absolutely. <laughs> yes. yes. Google her if you don't know her. Alexis Mugler. With the Mugler. white boot? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> she would have the black and the boot. She yep. had that white boot on. Yep. Like I'm I swear she had a black and white checkered thing yep. with a like a neon green yes. dress on. I swear. I swear. Yes. Uh for me, I am not sure I got this. Mm -hmm. And I love Lil. She's one of my favorites. I her, fa she was my favorite entrance look. As far as the runway theme. This did not work for me. This is my least favorite on the runway. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish I could sit here and say I love it. It looks like the smiley face is like melting. So uh, it and it probably has to do with me not fully getting the context, mm -hmm. but just looking at it aesthetically, it doesn't work for me. And I think I do remember some of the reference that was told to us about the um um the 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 way the how it's supposed to be what it was supposed to be i'm not remembering but i can remember mm. a little bit but i do like the melted faces on the on the green dress i like this little pixie cut bob pixie cut wig she got going on with the pink it's cute mm. to me i don't know if i it's like my vibe even knowing if you know the reference and i might and i'll go back and look and or i'll ask iris in the chat to re-explain it to me but even knowing the reference i don't think this would be my cup of tea as far as the look is concerned i love lil but i don't think this look did it but hey who are we to judge we don't we ain't to judge we just <laughs> we just give our opinions but i do like this cloak and this like how she, her first look came out before she took off the, the robe or whatever I like that look, but then when she took it off, I was like, oh, okay, it's something else. But not my cup of tea. Yes, not mine either. Scores, no David. I gave her a 42. I give her a 59. Still like it. Maybe re uh, buy a C because I like her. Mm -hmm. But I, yeah, because I really like her. I really like Lil. I'm a fan. 
I'm a fan. <sighs> Up next, Miss Karen. Kieran. Kyron. 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 Thanks. Kyron. Yes. Oh, I love this book so much. She had a great day. Like, this was a great premiere for her. I like this look from head to toe. I was like, I am a fan of the witch look. And we've seen witch looks before on Drag Race. Some of them good. Some of them I, Some of them not so great. This one was a good one. It's the black, the red that I like together. And then the white makeup that she has on her. It's just so good. I, I, I'm a fan of this look. I think this bottom picture, this bottom right picture, she looks so like put this in any storybook in any movie still like this is so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm with you. Um, we, we have seen a lot of witch looks. I like that she has such an emphasis on the color red because I feel like it's, it's usually just like straight up black looks. Um, so I thought that was a really cool angle to go with this, especially these, uh, legging type things that she has here the fully red uh broom she has and then i thought it was really smart to have the uh kind of like red almost feathers sticking out that are supposed to give the illusion of flames i thought that was really smart it's just polished clean and it gives a great idea of her point of view on drag so i really like this as well this might have been my second favorite look of the night mm-hmm Mm -hmm. Wouldn't doubt it, but scores. I gave her an 86. I'm going to give her a 90. Nice. I'm going to give her a 90. Yeah. We have Miss Z. Z oh, gosh, I said it right the first time. Zephyra. Z Zahira. Zahira. Zahira? Zahira. Zahira. Wow. Now I'm messed up too. <laughs> See, I got right. Zahira. <laughs> Yeah, so what I liked about this is uh, she wanted to lean into the pageant mm -hmm. of the Filipina uh, culture. And 100%, I get that. Especially, we've watched a lot of Drag Den, we've watched a lot of Drag Race Philippines. And what I've grown to learn about their pageant aesthetic, this hits it perfectly. It's so good. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Um, I do wish she had taken a more modern and youthful angle with it just mm. because that's her vibe. And I, I really think she could have done something a little more fresh, especially with the wig. It's a very draggy wig. It's a mm -hmm. great wig, but it, it reads a little bit older mm. than she is. So mm -hmm. if she had been able to keep it a little bit more youthful there, I think I would have liked this even more, but overall it's still a very clean, gorgeous look from her. So no complaints really. Agreed. I oh, I agree. It's definitely giving Miss uh, Miss Philippines 1980, mm -hmm. 1990, instead of Miss Philippines 2024. And I would love to see that because we've seen we've seen um, Miss Philippines 2024 and Miss Philippines 2023, where the dresses is, is it's still so pretty. But very much modern, more a line, more not the shoulder, you know, not the big poofy sleeve. It's more of a, but still gorgeous. I yeah, she looks gorgeous. She looks beautiful. I love what she did to it. It's definitely Miss Philippines. It's definitely very pageant. No notes on that because she mm -hmm. got that right. She nailed it. And I love that she had the both flags of the Philippines and the UK to show right. her dual citizenship and all of that stuff. I love that. And um, I think it's very pretty. But I, And I like this wig. I like this wig, but it does age her a little bit. It does. I do also want to give her credit for the way she patted her ass. Mm -hmm. Man, when she turned around and showed that off, I was like... Whoa, Boom. whoa. Boom. And it doesn't it doesn't do it in a way that is like cartoonish or right. too over the top. Like it just gives it looks natural. Crazy natural yet draggy curves. So I thought that was really cool. Other girls could take notes. <laughs> mm -hmm, for sure. It was good. So scores, David. I'm gonna give her an 84. I was gonna give her an 83. 
Okay. Good. Up next, we have Charity. And I like Charity's. I like this look, actually. I think it's very cute for what she was going for, the Darby. Um, sh the, the show, the Darby, which is like very much schoolgirl ish kind of look, which is maybe this is a dragged up version of a uniform for school in the UK, which I'm like, work okay, I can see that. I love the sparkles in the let she put you know, she be dazzled the whole uniform, and I like the bag, I like this wig, not too much of a fan on the makeup. I do like, I think, wish she would soften it up a bit but other than that i think this is good mm -hmm. i agree uh this actually surprised me a bit from her because i was like oh i know i know what to expect from her i know what her aesthetic is mm -hmm. and this was not it like i was expecting really bright colors and she has this dark green and you know what? I liked it on her. I thought it really worked. It gave mm -hmm. me Irish schoolgirl right away. Do I get the, spe the specific reference? No, I don't. But I don't need to. Mm -hmm. So I thought it was really refreshing, you know, like already refreshing for her to present something out, out of the box. Um, I will agree with her makeup. Uh, but my biggest my biggest complaint, and I get, I get her drag persona, but... When you have a look like this, I don't think you need to sell it on the runway the way she did. It was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it was just a little too goofy. And it almost felt like a coping mechanism to, I'm going to just be as silly as possible because what if they, what if they don't no. take this look seriously? Right. You know, in this specific look, you could take your presentation on the runway very seriously because it's that good. It's that polished. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. didn't need the silliness behind it. Um, so, yeah, that's my thoughts. I like it. Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, I gave her an 80. Gave her an 82. An 80. 82. Okay. <laughs> 82. Okay. 82, yes. <sighs> Sucky you. Sucky you is here, y'all. And, oh. Uh, but it's my turn. It's my it turn. Is. It is. I'll <laughs> let you have it. I know you want to hop in there. Yeah, Man. I do. Okay. I'm rethinking <laughs> things right now. I'm rethinking things. <laughs> you forget some stuff. You're like, I know, oh. I know. I'm like, okay, I know who my favorite is. Right. So Kyron is my second favorite. I don't think I don't think Kyron is my second favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I think Saki Yu is my second favorite. Mm. Because I really like this. I thought this was so clever so clever um it almost gives like church lady yes in the best kind of way i just really like this yellow mm -hmm. it's it's got tool but it's not overwhelming it at all i like the addition of all of the bees on her i think that adds a really cool like angle and then the the best part for me is the netting mm. on the hat and how mm -hmm. it almost gives like that same texture as like a honeycomb or something like that. I thought that was so smart. Like this is really pretty from her. I I didn't expect her to come out here in one of the strongest looks of the night, mm -hmm. but she kind of killed it. She ate this up. She ate this up. I could see this at one of my uh, at my church convention on a Sunday morning, and one of the uh, bishops' wives wearing this hat with this outfit. I can see it as clear as day. Um, I could see it at any church convention on any given weekend, and somebody's bishop wife or pastor's wife is wearing this hat and this this dress. It's so cute. It's she looks beautiful in it. The way she presented it, I loved it. I was like, oh, she's so pretty. She's so pretty, and this is such a gorgeous yellow on her. And it just complements her skin it, tone. It complements everything about it. And she's wearing it like, like she's just like, you know what? I'm just a, um, I'm a well put together lady. I am a socialite. I am here to, you know, I'm, look, she could say I'm rich and you would believe her. Mm -hmm. You would believe her. So I'm here for this. She looks great. 
She looks great. Scores. I gave her an 87. Mm, you might have to give her a 95. Ooh, good. I really like this. The more I look at it, the more I like it. Whew. All right. Yes. Miss Voix. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Voix. I love her. La Voix. Yes. This is so good. I like this for her. And I, I'm like, look, if you go go all out into this costume, a pirate costume, make it be a good one. This is a rich lady's pirate costume. This is a, like, she went to a pirate, uh, a costume party, and she was like, I'm going to be a pirate, but it's going to be a really good pirate. I like this blue. I like the blue and the gold. It's so good. The plumes of the feather and the hat. I just really like this. It's it's very costuming, but it works for this runway, and I think it looks good on her. Yeah, she's another one that surprised me. Mm-hmm. I didn't expect this from her. I thought I thought I knew what all of her runways were going to look like, mm-hmm. uh, but yeah, I just really thought this was so draggy, you know. <laughs> and and I love seeing that. Like I love seeing drag on this drag program. Call me crazy, but. Right. I, I agree with you. The colors were so good. Like I, what's my favorite color combination, Lana? It's blue and anything. Exactly. <laughs> blue and anything. So I really like this blue with this gold, which actually is one of my favorite blue and anything combinations. Blue and brown is number one. Probably mm-hmm. blue and gold is number two. Uh, but uh, yeah, I just, I was very impressed by her. Yeah. So good. So good. Scores. I'll give her an 83. She gets a 90. Okay. I love it. Miss Relisa Sleeves. Relisa. <laughs> Relisa. I think, I think I would be surprised if there is a time when I don't talk about Relisa's looks or mm-hmm. performance in a challenge where I will, like, I'm always going to use the word sexy. Sexy. <laughs> Absolutely. She, is she not like already like one of the sexiest queens we've, we've I've seen? I've ever seen. Like I, I, that's how I would describe her. Like she is sexy, and I've not described a whole lot of people as sexy like that. Like, oh, that was a sexy outfit, or that was a sexy. No, she is just sexy. Mm-hmm. Her yeah. whole vibe is sexy. Exactly, she's oozing it, and. Mm-hmm. And she, she's somebody who can rely on natural body a lot mm-hmm. and still just pull it off. Cause she's got that, she's got natural curves in the right places. Boom, boom, boom. And I think she, she also does do a little bit of padding too, to emphasize it. So I appreciate that. I thought this was really cool. It was a really good vibe, a nice balance of muted, like white mm-hmm. and uh, a nice nice dash of color in the bottom half this wig is really good too mm-hmm. so no complaints yeah this is she's sexy we, 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 there's nothing else to do she knows it. Say, she knows it no she definitely knows it it's so good i like how i like the that uh we see the colors of the of, of saint lucia and the hips and how she did it like she didn't just make it into a full skirt she broke it up so we could see the red in the the middle and the crotch area and then it was in the back so you could still see her boom 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 in the back as she walked away it's very very caribbean vibes it, it's a vibe it's mm-hmm. a vibe and she's giving it i love this wig i would wear this wig tomorrow if you sent it to me like mm-hmm. at least to send me this wig i Look at matching colors, pretty much. I I mean, (laughs) I might have to go look and see if I can find a wig like that somewhere at somebody's beauty supply store or or Amazon or sub. I want that wig. Mm. I want that wig. It's so good. I do see one critique I wrote down, and I didn't notice it like right away looking at these pictures. So the panty part of it, I feel like it does go a little too high for me. Mm -hmm. Um, Like it almost gave me like... And this is going to sound way harsher than I mean, but you know, like how grandma has like the, the, the panties that she pulls up really high. Mm-hmm. I don't want to see it that high. I just, I just wish it was cut a little bit lower. Like show me that some is, belly button girl. That's called tummy control, David. That is what she's doing right now. She's doing tummy control because she didn't want to put on the girdles mm. and stuff. We women got to put some stuff away and we don't want to, 
that's tummy control. I get it, girl. Okay. Don't you worry about it. I ain't worried. I ain't mad at the tummy control. Because as of right now, I'm wearing some pants right now that I got sitting way up high. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? You're pulling them off, I'm sure. I'm uh, sure. Maybe as soon as I finish this podcast, they coming oh. right off. <laughs> <laughs> Literally pulling them off. Literally pulling them off. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> I might be sharing a little bit too much. I'm sorry. Not enough. Not enough. Stop it. Dude. Say more. Stop. Okay. <laughs> Scores for <laughs> I'm going to give her and her tall panty an 82. Uh -huh. Period. I'm going to give you your tummy control at 85. Period. Mm -hmm. Love it. <sighs> Oh my God, my God today, my God today, I know, oh, I'm, I'm taking a break, Octavia, Octavia. I'm, Octavia, I'm taking a breath, because this was my favorite look of the night, this was my favorite look of the night, I, from head to toe, she's everything. From head to toe, it's everything. And when the way you presented it, when she came out with the poof, and the poof of smoke, I was like, yes, queen. Dragon. <sighs> Love it. I like that she went with the two parts of her hometown and didn't just make it so obvious, like, oh, I'm just going to be the dragon. She's the dragon and the flag colors. And it's so good. It's so good. I like, where did you get this bodysuit? And how did you match the makeup with the bodysuit? It is. Uh, I have no words. It's just so good. It's just so good. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to second it. It's my favorite look of the night. Um, I thought this was such a cool angle to go with the dragon look because it's not like in your face, like prosthetics and, and mm -hmm. pieces sticking out that resemble a dragon. It's like, how can I keep my human shape, but make a dragon? And she mm -hmm. really did. I thought the colors were perfect. I'm not usually the biggest bodysuit fan, but this, this really works. Um, I thought the cape was a nice addition and those puffy sleeves. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the only thing that I had a slight complaint is when I would see her walk, I did notice the crotch part was hanging kind of low. Um, mm. and you can see it kind of there on the bottom right. It just feels like a like it ends a little bit lower than the natural crotch does. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I really didn't have any issues. I thought this was very strong. And once again, surprising. Like I did not expect her mm -hmm. to go this hard with her aesthetic. And she is. So really like this. Really good scores. I gave her an 88. Giving her a 95. Okay. No, 96. 96. Let's scooch up one. Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. So next up we have Dita Garbo. <laughs> uh, so she's paying homage to the uh first beauty contest that I guess mm -hmm. was in her hometown. And I thought that was a really cute idea. Mm -hmm. I just want a little bit more execution to it. It just, mm -hmm. it was so simple. And I know she was specifically, uh, she had a Marilyn Monroe reference that she was going for. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just wanted it to be a little bit more draggy for one. And to have just more of a point of view, like it just feels a little bit, too simple for me mm. um her face and hair though Gorgeous. stunning like Gorgeous. if you just showed me this top picture i never in a million years would have said this is a 48 year old queen mm -mm. Like, she really knows how to make herself look youthful look her and uh kitten caboodle mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they're teaching the older queens how it can be done period they sure are though so, kelly hilton in there Kelly Hills. How old is Kelly? Oh, she's in her forties too. Okay, well, come on, yeah. Kelly. I love Put Kelly. Kelly in there too, because they they eating this thing up. They eating this thing up. They showing mm -hmm. these young girls. You don't have to stop. You right. can do drag all the way up until you decide not to. But baby, it's good. Yeah, I agree. I think the idea of it is nice. 
it's just, it's so simple. It's compared to everybody else she's standing next to. It's super, super simple. Nothing for me to go, you know, really just, ooh, oh, crab it. The makeup, the hair, stunning. But other than that, what am I looking at? A woman in a, a bathing suit and a mm-hmm. sash. It's okay. It's okay. Did she give you Charlize Theron a little bit? Ooh, a little bit. A little bit. Okay. A little bit. A little bit. Of course. I gave her a 69. It's nice. I gave her a 65. Okay. Yes, Miss Horse. <laughs> and I do remember the reference mm-hmm. that I remember that, this one. <laughs> I remember the reference that uh Eris Eris. told us about this one, which no, no, I no. found so interesting and wild. Like that could never happen here in the in the States, unfortunately, because people are rude here. But I think this is such a cool idea about you put this costume on the horse head and you go door to door. It's it's like Christmas thing. And you have trivia. I think you said Christmas. And you do some kind of. Is it like trivia or is it like you have to like rhyme? You have to come up with rhymes, right? Come up back and forth and go banter for banter and rhyme for rhyme, I guess, with someone. And if the person who's in, in the homeowner gets the rhyme over the uh the horse person they can't come in but if the person who's wearing the horse costume gets it over the person who's the homeowner they can come in and take their Great. beer or take something from their refrigerator in the kitchen it's like what that would be so fun i think you do that with people you know here like if mm-hmm. i had a group of friends and we did that i just show up at my house with my horse head on and knock on your door david and like Let's go bar for bar. It wouldn't end well for a lot of people here. No, that's what I said. We can't do that here without knowing the group of people you're doing it with. Like, you got to know your friend. You just can't go to a random people's house. Like, got this horse head on. Hey, everybody, what we doing? No. (laughs) But she looks stunning. Back to her. Back to this mama here. I think she looks stunning. I like this. I like this look. I like what she... I like it. I like how she did the horse head, horse head skull with the veil behind it. It's giving very horse bride, but um, in a very, I don't know. I like it. I, I i just like it. I don't know why I like it, but I like it. Hmm. I'm with you. I like it too. I think <laughs> this, this was another one of my favorites of the night. Um, I really do think, She's going to be the fashion girl this season. Like this feels high fashion. Uh, it it has such a great shape on her without like, this is how you can do a really draggy look without showing a lot of body to. So I want to give her props for that. Um, yeah, I thought it was really cool. Um, I, I do think, uh, I don't know if you agree, but for me, this felt very Yudipota coded. You know, I could see Yudipota. Wearing I can see something you like this. Mm-hmm. So, oh, I, I didn't say her name, Mrs. Marmalade. By the way, yes. yeah, I didn't say Marmalade. I said I it. Well, I said it, but you probably didn't hear me. Oh yeah, I, I was I was <laughs> gushing about it too much to say her mm-hmm. name, but Marmalade ate this up for me. Okay, sc- <laughs> scores. I gave her an eighty-five. I'm giving her a ninety. Okay. I don't know why I like it. I no, like the pop- look, it's because I, it's good. It's <laughs> when good. it's good, and I it's like good. the pop of color. I like the pop yes. of color. Come on, pop of color. Period. I love the pop of color. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan. But that is that. David, we did it. We did it. It wasn't under an hour, but it was just an hour. So Okay, we talked about the looks in under yes. an hour. Yes. <laughs> yes, we talked about the looks in under an hour, but... Yo, we did it, and I'm excited we got through with it. It's not as long as our premiere, a recap, because it's the premiere night, so expect a little bit longer. But we're we we gonna get out of here because we're done. We appreciate you sticking around and watching us. Like I said, if you haven't watched our recap, you should go do that first and then watch this. But watch us and um, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Let us know if you agree with our thoughts. If you don't agree with our thoughts, who's your favorites? Who you like in this season? Who's your winner pick already? Like who are we thinking about so far? Let us know in the comments below. We would appreciate all of your comments. David reads them all. 
I read read them all eventually, but I definitely do read them all. Follow us on all of our channels. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to all of our other channels as well. All those links will be in the description below, as well as our audio podcast links and our Patreon links. And follow us on all of our socials at The Cup Pod on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. You can follow David and myself. We're down there as well. And you can get your cup mug or any of our cup merch at lonagiescreations.etsy.com. All of that is in the description below and on that note we are going to take our leave as soon as i get down to the right place and my computer stops acting up and not be crazy bye y'all cheers Bye. That was the slowest cheers I've that ever done so, in my life. <laughs> we wanted to make sure everybody got a cheers on that yes, one. We milked it. We milked it for the best. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.